Hey Taurus, this is going to be your singles reading for August of 2019 and I just want to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me do check out the description box below as I do a giveaway every single month and if you would like to um, purchase a private paid reading information for that will also be down below. I just want to mention as well that my bracelets are on Etsy, they are handmade by me so I'm wearing the Law of Attraction bracelet here which you can see so this is what it looks like and it is adjustable. I'm also wearing the tie bracelets, this is the evil eye bracelet, I'm wearing the retrograde bracelet and the love bracelet and these start from just £3 with free international shipping. They are saged and meditated with, there's a lot of intention that is put into them to help get through obstacles and challenges in different areas of life. So these are the ones that I'm wearing in this video and if you are interested a link for that will be in the description box below to my Etsy shop and also if you are interested in crystals. My crystals are also on Etsy as well, so if you would like to have a look, the link will be in the description box below. And single Taurians, Taurians? <laughs> I think that's what they are, right? Taurians? Tauruses? Taurians. Definitely Taurians, I think. Let's have a look and see what is coming up. Ooh, Five of Swords. For this singles reading, August of 2019. Whoa. Do you have an argument with someone? Oh my gosh. There's there's a spiritual um, connection here that's really playing through. And it's for those of you that are single, right? So it's almost like... This is going to be a very specific reading that's not going to resonate with everyone. I'm just going to tell you that right now. This is so specific for those of you that have been dealing with, on and off, someone that you are tied to quite spiritually. So it could be a twin flame, soulmate, or a past life relationship where it's a, it's a spiritual connection that you and this other person have. And you're single right now, but it's just very hot and cold. It seems to me very much so like there has been some form of an argument that this person here is super, super indecisive, they're just not able to make up their mind a lot, like they don't know what they want, and this is making you feel like, what the hell is going on? Am I going to still stay single? Is this person really meaning well? It's like, what is happening? The two of you have a very spiritual connection here, because we have the Six of Cups, which is a very spiritual card, and we also have the Four of Wands, which again is a very spiritual card, it's also an angel card, it's a very divine card, because it also shows 1111. It shows a deep sense of attraction here that you have for this particular person, because we've got one person dressed in red, the other one dressed in blue. Okay, so if this already doesn't resonate with you, then this month's reading for singles is not going to resonate with you, unfortunately, because this is a very specific reading that I'm doing. Every time I do a reading, it's going to hit a different group. And it could hit the same group, you know, months and months in, in, what do you call it, in, in, an, oh, in, consecutively. That's the word I'm looking for. I was going to say in advance, but I don't think that was the right phrase, right? So I just was like, in. Okay, so consecutively. So this is for those of you in spiritual connections, right? Where things are just on and off and you're not single right now. We have here the Four of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. I know you have a very strong pull to this particular person. You just want them to work hard and to come to you and to make things great and balanced. What I'm seeing is that this is really a month where it's very important to give yourself that peace and happiness, joy and balance. It's very important to give this to yourself. When someone is confused about you, the best thing you can do is to just give them that space and time and to just really focus on you, especially with that Eight of Pentacles. This is about self-focus, Aligning things for yourself, putting effort into you. And I know that a lot of you are sick and tired of hearing, just work on yourself. It, yeah, it's, it's, sick and it's just horrible to always keep hearing that, but at the same time, it, it has its purpose. I mean, you can't just sit around and, and wait for someone who is confused about you or is 
in two minds about things, you know, that will just emotionally and mentally hurt you as time progresses. So the important thing here is to, you know, do things that you enjoy doing, your hobbies, your interests, your goals. You know, it's also about, you know, go out, have fun, take a little bit of an adventure. You know, you don't have to spend a ton of money doing all of these things. You know, yoga, journaling, meditation, you can do, do those things at home, they make you feel good. And also there's so many tutorials online that are just free. You can literally do it for free. If you're watching this on, a, on an iPad or a computer, you, you know, you're watching it on some form of a device, right? So on a device like that on YouTube, you can Google free meditation tutorials, free yoga tutorials. Um, you know, you can also get a journal and release and, and write, you know, and, and it's really great. All those three things are such a great release. They can help you feel more balanced as well. I feel like, you know, it's just a, it's a really good time for you to put more into you. This is also about filling up your cup. Filling up your cup. This is a month of strength. So in August, of course, we have Leo season. Strength card is ruled by Leo. But it's also showing that this is a month of growth for you. This is a month of strength for you. This is a month of putting yourself first. This is a month of self-focus and really aligning yourself to yourself. Know that you have options out there. This is all about realizing your power and not getting stuck to just one particular person. I know when you have a spiritual connection to someone, you can feel like you just cannot let go of them. But this is also about, you know, going out, having fun, taking part in lots of different interests and things like that. We have the Uranus retrograde, which is really opens us up to hobbies and ideas and creative potential and things that we perhaps didn't ever think we could like doing. We then find we actually really enjoy those things. So this is a month that, you know, dedicate this month to yourself whilst this person is confused. Have the time of your life. You're not going to be single forever. So just know that since you are single now, enjoy that time. You know, otherwise, when you're not single, of course, you're, you're always going to be with somebody. So um, well, you're not always going to be tied to them or glued to their hip. But what I'm trying to say is then, you know, you will have a lot of time to spend with that particular person. So, you know, give yourself this time now. Give yourself this energy and this love. Be in your power, you know. The Empress is ruled by Venus. It's about love, giving yourself that love, giving yourself that chance to shine and to feel good. You know, maybe this is about buying some new clothes, feeling better about yourself. You know, of course, material objects and things like that can't always make us feel great because it's kind of superficial, right? But maybe it can make you feel good because I see for some of you, it will make you feel good, whether that's getting a haircut, you know, whether you're male or female. You know, having a pamper session, learning something new, interests and hobbies, as we saw here also with the Uranus retrograde, yoga, meditation, journaling, that spiritually will really make you feel better. So this is about doing things really for yourself, right? Empress is ruled by Venus. It's about giving yourself that love. It's also about filling up your cup first, giving yourself all of that love and priority that you deserve. This is the month to truly do that because what I'm seeing is that this person is still confused but the thing is right now it's not really about them it's about you and that is the big focus because if you get too tied and wrapped around this person you will not give yourself the energy love that you deserve the universe needs you to acknowledge you in order for things to open up the universe needs you to know that you are also extremely important and you must give yourself this love, time, energy and commitment. You must commit to yourself. Page of Cups here, you know, shows really so much so that the more you put into yourself, the more the universe will give things back to you. So this is a really important time for you to focus on you. This month is all about you and having that strength, taming your fears and, you know, this is genuinely the best way to go about things. This is really what I'm seeing for August. And that Uranus retrograde is really on your side. So, Taurus, this is your reading. And if this resonates with your situation, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, my bracelets and crystals will be in the description box below. 
my Etsy link will be in the description box. Also, um, if you'd like to win a free reading with me or book a private paid reading, information will be down in the description box, as well as if you would like to follow me on Instagram. And I hope you have an absolutely lovely day, night, wherever you are. And um, I will see you very, very soon, hopefully.